talk about something called shyness induced snobbery. This is going to be a little bit more advanced. So someone raise their hand. Raise your hand. Let's ha form a pact right now, okay? Raise your hand if I'm losing you. Okay, if something doesn't make sense, just, hey, look, slow it down. All right? Fair enough? Okay. I'm going to talk about shyness induced snobbery because I thought I was the only guy in the, world, in the world who felt this. Then I realized after about five years of doing what I'm doing right now, it's pandemic. Everybody feels this. I know a beautiful woman, okay? But I'm not even going to acknowledge her existence, okay? Because I'm not going to give her the benefit of knowing I'm attracted to her, lest she has the opportunity to reject me. Do you follow that? Beautiful woman in your class, you're just going to... I'm going to pretend she doesn't exist. Can you guys relate to that? It's called shyness induced snobbery. You know what she thinks? She thinks you're a snob. She thinks you think you're better than she. She thinks you're arrogant. She'll never in a million years figure out that the reason you're doing that is because you're afraid of her not accepting you. You know how you cure it? You know something practical? You know, you know how to cure it? Start flirting with all of them instead of none of them. A couple years ago, uh, there was, well, it was about five years ago now, I think, there was a Monday night football game. In America, we love our football. Every Monday night, there's a huge, huge football game. We had a guy who played football, American football, in the 70s named Joe Namath. He played for the New York Jets. Because I'm from Baltimore, I still can't stand the guy, but that's another story. Joe Namath was the biggest player in the history of, of American football. He was outrageously flamboyant, had women everywhere. He is also kind of like to drink. Well, one night there was a Jets game on, and there was a particularly, you know, very cute gal who works for the sports station. And, you know, since this Hall of Fame, one of the all-time great football quarterbacks was there, she decided to go ahead and interview the guy. Okay? Joe Namath, famous quarterback. She wants to talk to him about how the Jets are doing this year, and Joe Namath looks at her on national television. Huge ratings. This is the biggest rated show of the week because it's guys love their football. He looks at her and he goes, I want to kiss you. <laughs> and the gal handled it beautifully. Oh, I don't know, Joe. I think, you know, you say that's all the girls. That's the kind of response that guy gets. I bet you say that to all the girls. Now, if you're hearing, I bet you say that to all the girls from all the girls, it could be because you do say that to all the girls. <laughs> now, I wouldn't advocate walking up and saying, I'd like to kiss you, but I do advocate being playful, flirting, having a good time with women, and not saying, well, if I flirt with her, here's the closed body language. Remember the barbell? That was so good from Rob this morning. If I do flirt with her, She's going to know I like her. She's going to know I'm attracted to her. The cat's going to be out of the bag, and then she can reject me. If you're flirting with all of them, none of them are ever going to know which one you really, really like. They're just going to flirt with you back, and I guarantee your life's going to be better. Right, Paul? Right. Flirting is number one. There's nothing wrong with flirting. If a woman has a problem with you flirting, it could be because her first name's Butch. <laughs> I flirted with lesbians before. Women just love to flirt. They really do. They're, they're dying to be flirted with. 